Abecedario. Um, Abecedario is basically the ABCs in Spanish, or numerado, which is by the numbers. Uh, it's, it's really simple. It's really, the way I do it is very simple, I think. There are a lot of systems that get really pretty flowery and very flourishy as they go through their stuff. Some of the systems will do, they'll kind of repeat things. Well, it's from this side, it's from that side. Uh, I did a stab, at the time we do a stab and a punch or a ridge hand. Um, to me, those are all kind of the same. And when I was learning, uh, we had our, our, a specific numbering system, numbering pattern that we did with the stick. And people would say, okay, you know, give me a number nine. And I would have to go, ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, nine is here. And then I would give it to them. And, but I'd have to count my way through. Each, each system of Kali has a little bit different numbering system. Instead of an X, one, and two, they may have one across the head, two backhand across the head. They may have something completely different. And those are fine. You know, I've studied in, in some of the different systems that, that do all of those. Um, but for me, I tried to break this down so beginners could pick it up easily. And I think that that's the trick, is having it so beginners can pick it up. Because once I have these numbers down, I no longer think about a numbering system. I just know that I have these different angles. And that's all that I'm really I'm concerned about. Uh, so for beginners, I think it's easier if you make this simple for them. So my first two techniques are the exact same, just opposite. So my number one technique, my number one strike will go from my right shoulder or my strong hand shoulder. It does, if I'm left handed, it would be on my left shoulder. But my strong hand shoulder, for me it's my right, and I would do a diagonal strike from the shoulder and I go down to the ground. Let's go back a little bit. So from the shoulder, to the ground. Now, because we do Kali Sila, because there's a lot of Sila involved in this, I'm, I'm changing my levels. I'm not just doing this here and here. When I go down with this, my body is dropping down to give me more power and to change my level, to give me a different strike, maybe to the legs or to the body, and make it a little bit more difficult for my opponent because most stick fighters are head hunters. They just, they're going for that head constantly. And you see very few that really go to the legs. So, I'm going to go from my shoulder down to my opponent's foot. I'll turn my hand upside down so that if this is a blade, my blade is coming out, and I'm going back up to that shoulder again. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. And even if I'm just standing up, one, two the shoulder to the kneecap to the kneecap back to the shoulder again so that's my one and two strikes my third strike is going to be a stab every third strike for my first 12 attacks is going to be used using the butt of my stick and that I think makes it a little easier to remember what comes next so if I say give me a number nine you can kind of jump yourself up okay this is my first stab this is my second stab this is my third stab so you can kind of jump ahead a little bit without having to go through the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, one, two, three. So after my two, my stick is already in the correct position for me to thrust. I'm gonna thrust into the chest plate here. One, two, three. One, Two, three, one, two, three, four. What am I set up for on my fourth strike? I'm already here to my side. Am I going to bring it back up to my shoulder or down to my leg? I've already done this one. So from one, two, three, I'm going to go cross body. Four will be across the body here. Five will be forehand across the body. And when I finish five, where's my hand? It's pointing out. So six will be a backhand strike to the solar plexus when I hit. I'll twist my weapon and bring it back out. So four, 
five, six, four, I'm sorry, four, five, six, four, five, six, four, five, and six. So all together I've got one, two, three, four across the body, five across the body, six backhand stab. Now I've done this angle, I've done this angle, so one and five, after six, I'm on this side again, where's seven gonna be? Seven will be an upward strike, so it's the exact opposite of one and two on either side. So seven, eight, seven, eight, forehand diagonal strike up from the kneecap to the shoulder, and then shoulder, backhand diagonal strike from the left hand side down to the foot. Seven, eight, and then nine is a stab up to the groin, to the prostate, could be to the solar plexus, could be under the chin, and I use this a lot this motion a lot when I'm sparring with a stick. It just works well from almost any position. If I hit, bam, it comes up. If I'm going down, it comes up really easy. So I use that a lot. So seven, eight, nine is straight up. Again, seven, eight, nine. And I can go to the right side of my head or to the left side of my head, each of those will have a different effect for my next strike. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, 10, I'm gonna move in a little bit for this one. 10, I'm gonna go straight down to the ground from my head, so it's kind of a, a strike coming this way, it can be forehand or it can be backhand, either one. After my nine strike, as I come up, if my hand ends on the left side of my head next to my ear, I'm gonna be doing a backhand strike down. If by chance my weapon comes up and it's on the right side of my head, I'll do a forehand strike. So it depends on where my weapon ends after that number nine strike. It can go to either side, they're both the exact same, it doesn't matter because the strike is still gonna be coming straight back down. It just depends on where you end. That being said, my next strike is gonna be a cut coming straight back up because everything is in a straight line. Every third strike is a stab. So, I'm coming down, let's say I'm coming down forehand here, my next strike is gonna be a backhand strike coming straight up. Or if I do a backhand, if I've done nine and it comes across, and I'm doing a backhand strike down, my weapon will turn over and I will do a forehand strike straight up under the chin. Or for a backhand strike under the chin or to the wrist or wherever. So that's my next strike. So nine. 10, turn it over, so I'm cutting, 11, 12 is gonna be a, a butt strike to the nose. Here, four, nine, 10, 11, yep, same thing, <laughs> four, nine, backhand, 10. My 11 here is gonna come across my body because I'm doing this backhand strike or this forehand strike, and 12. So the whole thing is one, two, three is a stab, four backhand from my left, five forehand from my right, six, stab to the solar plexus, twist, pull it out, seven, from my right knee to my left shoulder, eight, right shoulder to the left knee, nine, straight up, 10, straight down, 11, Cutting straight up, the center of the body, 12, butt strike to the nose. We have 36 of these attacks, and 
there are combinations of a lot of these different first 12. The first 12 are the most important. If you can remember those 12 angles of attack, 12 points of a compass, or the eight points of a compass with the stabs, then you are good to go. You can fight almost anybody with a stick, and you've got a lot of different combinations that you can put together. All right, practice that numerado system or that abecedario system.